Hello guys, it's Void here and we're back with part 4 of the Ultimate Oaklands Guide. Today we're going to be learning how to make an auto or system unloader and loader. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty hefty tutorial, but sit back and relax and you will soon learn how to become an expert in ores. Okay, so once you've loaded into a solo lobby, uh, the first things first, what we're going to do is actually expand our base. So we should have around 122,000. If you don't have that much, um, maybe you can go ahead and make some more money before you do this. Or when expanding your plot, maybe don't expand it all the way. Maybe spend about 50K. Um, but space is required. Um, so I'm just going to expand the plot to maximum size. So once you've expanded your base size and you're happy with the size of the base, you want to grab your trailer and your truck. And basically, we're going to go down to the oak depot because, yeah, we're going to need the space. Um, yeah, so go down to the oak depot. Once you're at the oak depot, you're going to buy a few things. Buy the industrial refinery. Let's plonk that down. Buy the industrial forge. Bam, that's on the counter there. Grab a borderless conveyor. Plonk. Uh, grab three tilted conveyors. Boink. You also want to grab a tool refined axe, but if you can't afford it, grab a steel axe. Not a rusty one, though. Uh, grab a steel one if you can't afford the... Um, refined axe uh, and we need two straight conveyors well we only need one but two if you want to expand uh, and let's put that all in your truck and take it back to your base once you're at your base uh, instead of unloading it just be lazy like me and respawn your trailer and your truck that will put everything on the ground so you don't have to take it out you also want to go down to the oak depot and buy this little wedge and you also want to buy the cube. This allows us to use schematics uh, to build with so we can actually build the system where you drive the truck in. So grab the wedge and grab the cube. Um, pretty much just put them on the counter. If you need a little bit of extra money, these cost literally pennies. So yeah, um, buy these and then literally pick them up and then they'll be automatically in your schematics. So uh, get your truck, line it up, make sure it's straight. And then we want to go to sch schematics and we want to grab a cube. Make sure the studs are on 0 0.25 so we've got um, more accuracy. So you want to line this cube up with the wheel as close as possible, um, but obviously not touching it. Uh, this is basically a wall to guide the truck in and stop ores from falling out so you want to make it the length of the truck um so yeah you can basically shorten the sides uh, we're going to bring it up until the front bumper there and we can do the same on this side we can do it to the rear bumper or the lights probably the lights it should be fine and um, we've accidentally placed this down so we're going to click back on it and press the edit button so you click on number four and we make this thin as possible and then we drag it up to the height of the vehicle. You can make it really high, but I don't see the point. Um, you just pretty much make it the same height as the vehicle itself. And that's pretty much done. And then we can copy that onto the other side. Get it to as close as the wheel as possible. As you can see, it's not really in the right position. So we want to move this back as well. And yeah, make sure they're aligned up. And then what you want to do next is go into your schematics once more. And then we're going to use the wedge. Uh, we're going to rotate this so it's facing towards us. And then we're going to literally put it on next to the little wall we just made. And we're going to make it as long as the wheel. And then you can stretch this out. Not too far, but enough so it's a nice smooth ramp probably about there maybe make the height a little bit taller or shorter but 
it should be pretty fine you know you can make it really high or really short but add a little bit of height to it you know so you can fit the conveyor next to it that's all we're doing so we add a tiny little bit of height and all you can do is copy this and rotate it to the other side so we make sure it's lined up and once it's placed down we can move that to the other side like so you don't really need to line it up because obviously we're going to move this later and then we're going to move the truck out of the way because we've already like sized up the truck on how big it has to be um, if you want to add the trailer you may have to do other adjustments you may have to make it a little bit wider maybe make the wedges a little bit wider but we're just going to line these up i've noticed we've made an extra bit here so we can just destroy that sometimes it does that it makes an extra bit and then we can line this up like so and then all we have to do is add a little long piece going along and then two back panels to stop the vehicle from driving forward so we just add a cube here and we make it obviously not be in the ground so can lift that up a little bit uh, i'm just gonna quickly move this up so it's on the ground and then go back to the size tool which is the last slot and then we're just gonna scale this so it matches the height and width of that and then we just want to change the length till it reaches the end of the structure and then that's done we can now copy it rotate this and then line it up with the other wedge so this is basically creating a platform that you can drive your truck onto and then all you have to do now is create little stoppers so the truck doesn't go forward um yeah so you get another cube you place that down on the end of it so you can just place that down here and then you want to edit this uh change the size of it make it as long as the cube side uh you can make it thin this is so we don't have to waste materials when actually making it make it thin and then we can extend the height of this uh, so it stops the truck as you can see i i made it a little bit short here um but you can make it longer and i'm gonna place that down on the other side i'm just gonna place it down and then oh it's not even going in the right spot i can just place it and then we can just move it afterwards and make sure that's lined up so we're going to grab some materials and then fill this in okay so what we need to do now is grab the ores of your choice or wood you can use wood or ores to do building materials it's up to you i'm just going to use this base slate and it doesn't matter about it having ores in it it's still going to be the same texture so i'm just going to touch all the blueprints here and it will fill it in with material um yeah just go ahead grab your material and then any spare material you can throw that aside and then we can just adjust the height of these um because obviously those are way too low um the truck's just gonna drive over them the wheels are gonna go over them and all your ore is gonna fall out pretty much um you can make these the same height uh, yeah just mess around with it um keep driving up your, tr your truck up the ramp until it's done that's not lined up let's just fix that real quickly um you know you could probably build it to the same height and then we're just going to grab our truck and test this out um you can drive this in bang and there you go the truck fits so we can now start building the actual conveyor system so what you want to do is grab a straight conveyor grab a straight conveyor uh make sure it's facing the right way and we can just place that down bang and then we can stretch this out yep you could stretch this all the way until it meets the end here where it starts to ramp up you can also make it the same size on the other side so it's touching the end there grab a borderless conveyor yeah grab a borderless conveyor make sure it's facing the right way though um this is going to act as our little ramp piece so turn that around and then what you want to do is go on to the properties and edit it uh we basically gonna ramp this up so we're first gonna make the length a little bit bigger so 
and then we're gonna basically tilt this we're gonna make this a tilted conveyor yes you can use borderless conveyors as a tilted conveyor you can also rotate non-tilted uh yeah you can pretty much do a lot with uh conveyors so you're just gonna line this up pretty much so it lines up with the rock pieces that's probably too far into the ground so you can probably lift this up it doesn't matter if the ore's dropping from this location um it doesn't matter if there's a little lip here uh but you can mess around with it until you're satisfied with it um that's pretty much good here this looks amazing so we, we we're pretty much done with the little ramp there we forget about the little gap drop there um we don't need this straight conveyor but if you wanted to add another piece in you could and then you could probably add your uh your trailer in but you're gonna have to do a lot of adjustments and we don't need that that's for later but that's what i said if you wanted to buy that you could um we want to grab our refinery and then place this down uh hopefully facing the right way you can pay, place that down and then make some adjustments uh we've placed that pretty good uh, and then we're gonna grab our industrial forge and then obviously make sure it's facing the right way yep so just line that up and don't worry if it's not lined up you can always adjust after and then what we want to do is grab our tilted conveyors so yeah this is the system we've got so it comes up here it will drop on there go through the system uh like i said you can add, add a second system if you want but we've got our tilted conveyors and we actually want to make this climb a pretty smooth climb so you want to grab this item place it down get your tilt conveyor and then stretch it out as far as possible to the end and then basically we're going to duplicate that three times so extend all three like so so they're stretching out that way you can load it onto your truck three is, seems to be the magic number uh yeah so once you've done that you can grab your you know your vehicle you can click the first button we want to rotate this uh so the back end is here and you can place that down at the end of the ramp so basically um you can as you can see i'll reload the truck here so the ramp will lead into the vehicle and you can adjust it to your own accord um so yeah i've got some oars here we're going to test this we're going to drive our truck into this and basically by putting the truck at the end of the ramp once you've got your ore loaded in you can just press this one and yeah it reloads it and then the ore should go through the system they may get stuck if you've got big ores like me like i grabbed really big ores when doing this uh recording um it might get stuck but it doesn't matter you can like pretty much move them around it just makes it a whole lot easier would you rather just move a couple of ores um before their forge and then it automatically load into your truck or manually drop it into a system and then have to load it all into the truck uh, this is way better you know it's gonna have a few jams you know not everything's perfect um i will be working on another tutorial on how to make a whole like system wood and you know wood and ores and it'll be a whole system it's not going to be perfect because they probably need to add like all the textures and stuff like that if they added like machines like that that'd be awesome and but yeah just twiddle with it and you won't have to worry about the other end because it's all going to push in unless like your truck's getting really full um i've tried this multiple times but yeah i hope this tutorial really helps you in learning how to use conveyors and create a system that's pretty much automatic you know yeah just leave a like and hit that subscribe button if this video helps you in the next video i'm gonna be showing you how to make a full integrated system you could probably save up for around 50k it doesn't matter i'm just gonna uh build a setup and then show you step by step what pieces i used uh, i'm not gonna go through 
everything building it one by one you can pretty much see the setup and then i'm gonna talk you through it but yeah uh like i said please subscribe if you haven't already and press that like button it means the world to me but anyways i've been void i'm out